Hey y'all, welcome to another Something in Water. I'm Uncle Dave Griffin. I'm Sean Clark. We're here with Ryan Crosby and Jacob Taylor. Boston Jake. Has Boston Jake. called me Boston so Jake. many years. Boston that's why, Jake. That's why I hesitated. I was like, what's he got to do with real? this? Don't use my real name talking about things. Oh. <laughs> we like to refer to him as BJ. I appreciate that. You are the only one out of 17 years that has ever called me that, and I appreciate it. So yeah, I just realized. BJ, yeah, exactly. that's your new Dave's name. the only one. I remember many, many years ago sitting in Whitfield. Dave used to do Monday night open mics and show up with Freaking four <laughs> books about this thick, and he's saying, "Just name a song, and I'll play it for you." And I was like, "I never met this crazy old man." All right, play Prince, and he sit and play Prince, nineteen ninety nine, and then I'll okay, play Merle Haggard. Okay, I'll play this just right off the top. Of Blew my mind. Jukebox. Call me BJ, like a uh, dirty word. I won't say. Well, and I remember uh, meeting you also, or sharing. Your company also at the Creek, yep. the original Creek over there. Oh yeah, yes sir. Every yeah. night, 100 years ago now, three lifetimes ago. <laughs> it was a while back. My hair used to be down here. I lived out of two backpacks in a box. It was a wonderful <laughs> world. <laughs> now we're adulting. Isn't it fun? <laughs> yeah. That was uh, easily the early 2000s. Yeah, yes, sir. all that was going on. Yeah. And so uh, I assume you're from Boston. <laughs> a little further north, but yeah. <laughs> the assumption is Boston, we'll say. <laughs> Hey, how did y'all meet? When did y'all meet for the first time? Uh, you, re Whitfields. you recollect Whitfields again? Hundred years ago, yeah. What Whitfields though? That no, was, was uh, Cheers. Cheers. At that cheers. Point, yeah. yeah, it was Cheers. Really? Yeah, I forgot yep. that one. That place yeah, has been so many things. <clears throat> started cool off as building. Carter House. That's a cool building. Actually, it started off as a r Red, Red Cross Red Cross facility of some sort, like a hospital yeah. or a. Hmm. And uh, hence the ghost. <laughs> yeah, that place is haunted as anything. I yeah, I've been in it. there, dude. And yeah. Stomping up the stairs yeah. and nobody there. And, like, Terrifying. Doors slamming. Yeah. Like, and our wow. old buddy Mike Conway, who was the chef there in one of its incarnations, actually lived in an apartment upstairs. Yeah, right on the backside of the and, stage. And uh, we'd, we'd be going, what was that? Yeah. What was that? <laughs> and he'd say, oh, it's just a ghost. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Yeah, and no. just, he'd sit there all calm and everything. And yeah. he said, hairs on the back of my neck could be just raising cane. And uh, uh, I was just, it's just him. <laughs> 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 who is him? <laughs> oh, my God. Who was it that... Uh, uh, was in the bathroom throwing up or something like that, and then as they came out, yeah. of, uh, he was in there with a girl that was yeah. being getting sick or whatever, and uh, looked up and saw. Well, as he came out of the bathroom, you come out into this sitting room, and it had a little settee mm -hmm. and a little old, old red uh, turn of the century settee. You know, we looked on the doing the carpet. Yeah. <laughs> He came out the bathroom door and saw outside, sir, you need boots to calm down. and jeans. And he saw the boots and jeans as he came out the bathroom door. And as, and as his up, eyes went up, it, it went just and was gone. Ooh. What were y'all talking about little Tony did in there? It was a special carpet night. Yeah. He was doing carpet angels. It was a special carpet night. Carpet angels. Outside of the <laughs> we don't need to relive certain carpet. stories. He was doing carpet angels. That was right after we made it back from... The Everglades. That was a long week. <laughs> Did y'all have a ghost story? Uh, I remember from, we, from there. We had a little uh, private clubhouse down in the basement. Basement. I worked there one time. I seen a girl fall out the back of the stairs, <laughs> out of the kitchen, the stairs that go down. I'm telling you, man, she was she about to hit every step on the way down. Uh, it got hurt. Like, it was bad. I but, cut myself with a bottle. Boom. Is it in that same ghost? spot? It went where the ghost. I don't know about a ghost. Ghost pushed. <laughs> yeah, ghost pushed. I did cut myself with a bottle. Boom. I painted the uh, kitchen one time after the fire, I think. Did you hear anything? I worked there when it caught on I fire. I did the whole no, time I was there. But when I went up to Mike Conaway's <laughs> that night, sitting in his room, and the he's working on, he's talking to somebody on the computer, <laughs> and his TV turned off. He goes, it'll turn back on in a second. And it turned back on. And then... <laughs> <laughs> up, like we're in the uh, the office up there. Uh, yeah. That was his apartment. Yeah. And up the stairs, I hear stomp, 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 stomp. And we're like, I was like, dude, who's who's here? And he's like, that's nobody. 
And then the doors downstairs slamming. I like the sound effects. He goes, come on, I'll show y'all. And he, <laughs> you like the sound effect. I do. And uh, we go down there and nothing. And the door, all the doors are locked and nobody anywhere. That's when you said, I'll be leaving now. Yeah, I left. <laughs> I said, later, dude. Oh, ghosts don't show themselves to me. I'm not a receptor. Well, I didn't see them. Do you believe? Uh, I don't. I think I'm ambivalent on it. Maybe that's why. <laughs> that's my only. I have a few other that's things. That's an, that right that's an easy way out right there. That's an easy way out. If you're some, listening, I, believe I don't some, care. That house that Ryan and I used to live yeah, in I was some haunted pretty hard as anything. To explain shit that, that, that house, house was weird. We found out really? years later it was owned by the preacher. The one you're living in now. No, no, no. no, 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 no the one over there on Mayfair. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was, no. I mean, uh, my first cabinets. I've seen cabinets. be open for no reason. Fly open and dishes and like pots and pans like fly to the other side. Of the That's room. an angry one. There. No, no Telling bullshit. You, hey, the bathroom door the used to hey, lock itself. Be, the, be, I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. Talking I remember that. The, the closet hallway. door yeah. flying open. Boom. Yeah. Closet door flying straight open. Straight out of the that. bed. I'm That's, talking about getting after it. And That's straight out. Boom. How did you sleep after that? Something tied around your what? Sleep, Dave. Yeah. No, I remember. But I'm telling you, it would be some strange stuff. I remember. I woke up one night. And the poster fell off the wall. I couldn't move. I know I wasn't sleeping, but I know I wasn't dreaming. And all of a sudden, I came to, and I was walking down the hallway, and I saw that. It was like a, the, a premonition of a girl wearing a white nighty and long, dark hair. And I remember you said you saw the same thing, but we won't tell that I story. I don't remember seeing it. But I remember <laughs> years later, I moved out, then Troy moved in, and he saw the same girl on the same side of the bed. Then Dylan saw the same thing. That was wild. The bathroom door used to lock itself and even like put shoes or a towel in front of it, you know, and the door used to just shut itself and lock. Then we found out the preacher's wife killed herself in my old bedroom. I don't know that something like that. Uh-huh. Something, something. <laughs> preacher used to. <laughs> That's I don't know. I don't know. I don't, think, I don't know. I don't know. Didn't know. you have, Jay, yeah. didn't you have stuff to tie around your neck? No, it wasn't up? me. Yeah. I think that's when uh, the next people will live there. Mm. <clears throat> Did you no, hit yeah, no, my chain, <clears throat> my cross, yeah. I woke up, it was that same night, that same story. The poster fell off the wall and shit, and my chain was all the way up around my neck, and I couldn't move. It was the okay. weirdest thing. Okay. I believe it. Okay. I was, okay. I was also doing a lot of different life things at that time. So. <laughs> did, uh, did one of y'all hit on her? Was that? Twice. Yeah, she'd have seen she seen some rooster back. meat. She'd have been <laughs> she came back ghosting real me. Oh, I'm an easy man to follow. <laughs> did she hit on y'all? <laughs> did you a wake little up? Little cuckling. Little ghost cuckling. That's what it was. She was right there on the side <laughs> of the bed you, watching. Did you wake up with scratches? <laughs> <laughs> no, did it Matt though when he moved in there after? I think so. Yeah, there's some crazy. Up, I'm telling you. And his aunt came in and did like a full blessing of the house and everything like that. Not more than just burning the sage. What about Trey? There's yeah, a bunch yeah. of people living there. That was yeah. a fun house. That was a lot of fun house. We had the volleyball court <laughs> wow. in the backyard. We had the volleyball court in the backyard. Fires every night. Three fifths of bourbon six days a week. Home is what you make. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we 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 were. It was a wild time. When we were uh, living together and <laughs> yeah. hanging out like Matt, we were both. Back in the younger days. Wild times. Hey. We're getting after it. And we'll listen to a bunch of y'all play a bunch of carburetor gigs. Mm-hmm. Uh, we were we were hitting some music, too, some good some good music. I miss those carburetor gigs. The Abbey and Paul. Yeah. Those were good. Some, those were some good gigs. Those were some good gigs. That was a rich time right there. Uh, Pope and Doty. And you, and yeah. that was the Jack Cadillac stuff. That was good. Yeah, yeah. What was the name of that little place y'all debuted downtown? Uh, Next to the First Baptist Church. Twin Earth. Yeah. Rick Bennett's place. Mm-hmm. That was a magic night. I remember I was there for that one. Was that our debut? That was our It seemed like it was the coming out party. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was I Halloween. swear to God. It was Halloween. And Pope was on drums. Yeah, and you was, were on Thurman. Yeah, and uh, we painted what our kind face of on is that? He's on a Thurman. And a, said, an electric guitar, too. <laughs> Do you have a subscription for that? I think I was there. I think I seen that, too. Yeah. A little there was a lot room, of folks Like there. a room like this big. Yeah, it was a little like old a bunch of kids sweat and, box. Yeah. And like a little punk would, show. Steve, they, oh. I guarantee you, a little big-ass Steve. Y'all was Steve. Oh, He was there, for sure. A little big-ass Steve running around. Big-ass Steve was there. As a little kid, it's still the same size. I bet Mike was in there. <laughs> yeah, Conway had to been there. No, I mean, uh, 
Huh? Mike Johnson. I bet he was in there. Oh, yeah. I just got back off a of vacation with the Johnsons. Where'd y'all ain't go? no vacation like a vacation with the Johnsons. Ferndina. 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 Yes, sir. The classic uh, vacation spot for all of Waycross. Stayed at the log cabin. <laughs> we had a big time. Did you ever stay at the log cabin? I have. That's the first time I ever stayed at the log cabin. It's cool as shit. I'd That's, always seen oh, it, man, but I never big. stayed there. Big, huh? bad, and it's almost in the road. It's like, like it's the closest the house strip. to the road. Yeah, like you got to go the road. It's, an, it's goes a log cabin on the beach. On, on front of the, it's cool as yeah. shit. So on the north or south end, when you get north. to uh, the north, red north, light, north, you go that south, way. North, yeah. Closer to yeah. The, where water slides used to be. Oh, <laughs> man, I, that's childhood memories of that town. Fort but, Clinch. No, that ain't Fort Clinch. Yeah. Yeah, Fort Clinch, yeah. Have man. you ever been down there? No, no, sir. Oh, next time we... When you and when y'all come, we'll uh, I'm on vacation you down. Vibe. I'm just going no, to we'll go down vibe. there and we'll go down there and uh, have, have a night, morning. have a big night or two, just in town for an evening or two. Are you playing anywhere tomorrow? Saturday? Oh yeah, oh, yeah man. Are uh, you playing Saturday? Two places. Uh, Fancy. It'll already be passed by the time this comes out. But go ahead and say. Yeah, go ahead and uh, tell plug us. your gigs from two weeks ago. That'd be great. <laughs> Barrier Island Were you Brewing there? Company. Yeah. Uh, Boy, we had a good time from twelve that to three. Night. And then that's your gig. Yeah, Y'all sounded great. Wine man. Alley. <laughs> wine Alley. <laughs> From uh, seven to ten. It sounds too fancy both for on, me. Both on, no, it's outside. It's, it's a real cool vibe. There ain't nothing so fancy. It's not over classy, there. is what you're saying. It's classy and it's, it's a classy, but not fancy. It's a, it's a, is it a place you want to recommend for people to go on definitely. a regular time? Yes. Or is it just when you're playing? Is the only applicable time to be that's there? That's the only time I've been there. So oh, all right, just when you only, play. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm sure it's cool all the time. No, I have been there other times. It's cool. All right. <laughs> microphone. Your mic too? microphone, get that thing close oh, to your mouth. Me. Right. Pardon, pardon. There you go. I don't so, like things like that close so to my mouth. So you still married? Sorry, it's been a while since. Uh, you still married? Speaking of things, yeah, it's like I'm married like this. It's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> or yeah. were y'all ever married? Was that? No, we haven't been married yet. Okay. Next year, yeah. All right. Married for next year. I've been together for ten. Well, I met. Years now. I met her on a Sunday. I met her in. Uh, where the hell were we? We're in Massachusetts somewhere. Yeah, yeah Chris's uh, wedding. Chris's wedding. Uh, yep, yep, yes, sir. The backyard of Miss Lisa. The backyard of his wife Lisa. Lisa. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Miss Lisa. Lisa. This is for you, darling. Always a pleasure. <laughs> Hello, darling. <laughs> Hello out there in Radio Land. Uh, tell him, tell him what you're doing now, Jake. What's that? There's some issues. Living on the government's talk, money. No, I don't talk about my work. <laughs> tell us what you're doing, I Jake. I never used to talk about the things I did for money back in the day, and I don't talk about what I do now. <laughs> he sounds like a... a Politician. A, 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 no, a, an old... Uh, That's the problem. Uh, cowboy philosopher. You got some <laughs> talked about the things I, I did. Well, yeah. You got some Like a 1930s Woody Guthrie. <laughs> Things yeah. involved in a man's life's up to the man and the things. So that's all. <laughs> now, there's deep. You put it on a bumper sticker. Speaking of deep, we want y'all, if y'all enjoying this, we're going to mosey on over to the deep end in just a minute. So, if you like what you. So, we can get crazy. Listen to here. You can uh, finally say words as matter that of I fact, speak regularly. <laughs> as you're watching this right now, you can go straight on over to patreon.com, look up something in the water to deep end, and it's only $5 a month. You can watch it. If you don't pay that five dollars, you what can't do you mean watch, watch it? it. We're being recorded right now. Yeah, oh, this ain't, I was not aware of that. In the this Hello. this ain't just radio. <laughs> Appreciate it. Camera. I've just been staring at you, Sean. You're too pretty. It's been well, too long. That's, all, that's what also you're the to. angle of the chair. That's what you know? you're supposed to do. Just you right. just give me the green light where I can talk. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> cool. What's the time limit? You look so like far? the green lantern over there. I don't know. We probably hit 15 minutes already. What's the tail of the used week? Used to there, be, uh, used to be a little counter up there. I don't I see it anymore. 20. Solid twenty. Wow, boys and girls, this was fast, wasn't you? Well, see y'all That's later. What she said. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. I'll do it uh, unless y'all want to keep talking. You know. Read I'm away, so Rito. About the past thirty seconds. I need about a cigarette break anyway. <laughs> all right. Before we go uh, here, we uh, thank y'all for being on this time. Uh, I got a little tail of the week here that concerns. The Newfanglers. Oh. You remember that bunch? Who? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Look at it. Speaking of ghosts, ghostesses, <laughs> six souls on board. Mike Johnson, Waycross pilot of the single-engine Piper Lance, 
spoke into the mic of the Plains Radio right before we took off from Nashville's John C. Toon Airport. It gave me an eerie sense of mortality, but after the weekend we'd had, I'd have been a happy dead man. Dark Side of the Moon Pie is how I describe the newfangler's Americana musical concept, equal parts Pink Floyd and Hank Sr. The real story happened years ago among the palmettas and blueberry patches in the South. In 2003, a handful of Waycross, Georgia songwriters put it all down in words and music. The newfangler's recorded and released Blood in the Pines, the story of Hollis Shepard in 2007. It was in October 2005 that found me, Sean Clark, Paul Lee, in Nashville, Tennessee, with the nearly finished tapes for a recording session with the king of the steel guitar, Don Helms. Which one is Don Helms? <laughs> the one that's not Hank Sr. <laughs> the one that's not Hank. Don Helms was one of Hank Williams' drifting cowboys, the guy that sent chills down your backbone with those piercing, haunting steel guitar licks that graced more than 100 Hank Williams songs and were heard on 10 of Hank's 11 number one country hits. Helms' instrument that weekend in Nashville was the same beauty that he played back in the day, a 1948 Gibson console grand steel guitar with no foot pedals that he nicknamed Old Red. Old Red. It was a double necker. <laughs> <laughs> the outside neck was in E6 tuning and the inside neck B13. The majority of his classic leads were done on the E6 neck. He used to be 13 neck for fills. Just a little knowledge there. After Hank died, Helms went on to play on other classic country hits like Patsy Klein's Walking After Midnight, the Leuven Brothers, Cash on the Barrelhead, and Low Red Lens, Blue Kentucky Girl. I grew up knowing well the beautiful steel guitar sounds of Don Helms. My daddy was a big Hank Sr. fan, and his records were the first music I can recall hearing as a child. So it was with excited reverence that I dared to think Don Helms might add his classic touch to our Newfangler's album. In 2004, we heard that Mr. Helms would definitely be interested in playing on Blood in the Pines. A few months later, we learned that the former drifting cowboy had suffered a stroke. Disappointment and weeping in the key of E6. Don Helms married Hazel Culifer in 1945. There she is. Uh, she's the one, not Audrey. She was a beautiful country lady with a pleasant face and a peaceful strength. It was Hazel who nursed and nurtured her husband back to health after his stroke in 2004. We got the good news in 2005. Don Helms was back. Mike and Pam Johnson, along with Sly guitarist Reed Bennett of Alma, Georgia, and I flew into Nashville on Saturday, October 29th. We checked in at the motel, hooked up with Fangler's Paul Lee and Sean Clark, then hit Broadway Street till I was walking backwards. <laughs> Tootsie's Orchid Lounge, Legends Corner, Robert's Western World were filled with pure honky-tonk music, and Halloween was in full swing, with our own Sean Clark donning a rubber Elvis mask from a costumed Nashvillian and striking a pose just as a carload of Japanese tourists rolled up, cameras flashing. I'll never forget that Sunday, October 30th. The recording session took place at a small wood frame house in a bohemian Nashville neighborhood. Don and Hazel Helm showed up, and once inside, he opened the fabled guitar's case. It was like a single ray of light from heaven, surrounded by a chorus of honky-tonk angels as I saw the original Gibson. This was the same guitar that I had listened to on so many occasions from the time I was three. After the recording session, we took pictures. <laughs> There's uh, me, Sean, <laughs> and Don, <laughs> Hazel, Sean. and Reed. <laughs> <laughs> he said, damn it, I shouldn't have worn the Beatles shirt. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, we that's, were, lady, that's his wife he was talking about? Yeah, Hazel. Hazel. Yeah. She was sweet. It was a, uh, we, we took pictures, bought copies of his autobiography, set in the woods on fire. Remember that? That was a good, that. that was a good little read too. Uh, autographed and he graciously, it was like a single rev. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> he graciously autographed all of my daddy's old Hank Williams record albums that I took with me. It was a full circle moment for me for certain. Don Helms passed away three years later. His beautiful playing graced two tracks on the newfangled Blood in the Pines, and I'm moved to tears every time I hear him. Wow, wasn't uh, that special? Pretty cool. <laughs> yes, sir. That was uh, part one of the Newfanglers, and we'll come back with part two on our next podcast. Uh, uh, of of our uh, first next first of the month podcast. So we're glad to have y'all with us always. Uh, be sure and subscribe, rotate your tires, and <laughs> change your oil, and do all the things necessary to like our podcast. We we beg you. We begging you. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, uh, mosey on over there to patreon.com, look up something in the water, the deep end, and you'll catch these lunatics right here. <laughs> Damn, Dave. Hey, we'll, be in, uh, we'll be in a rare form over there. They will, too. And uh, thanks again for watching. <laughs> Say good night. Say good night. Y'all enjoy. Y'all enjoy. Y'all enjoy. Y'all enjoy. Y'all enjoy. Y'all enjoy. Hey. Mm-hmm.